everyone, Pastor Donna here. Thank you so much for joining me for today's devotional. Our theme for today is a lack of peace and the scripture is taken from Luke 10 verse six. If someone who promotes peace is there, your peace will rest on them. If not, it will return to you. So this was Jesus talking to his disciples and he encouraged them to bless with peace any homes that they stayed in. But if the person who was the homeowner was not a peaceful person, then that peace would be returned to the disciples. So um, they were basically encouraged to be peaceful people and to share that peacefulness with others and to be blessed by peacefulness. And of course, finding peace has been our topic throughout this month in our devotionals. So how do we apply this? Well, oftentimes we can find ourselves in situations that are not peaceful situations. And, you know, it, there's so many things that can happen in our life. You know, we, we could be in a car accident and that's definitely not peaceful. Um, we could, could become very, very ill or, or someone we love could become very, very ill and that's not peaceful. And um, we can be put in situations where we're having to deal with people who are not peaceful people. And so sometimes it just, you know, it makes it, makes it hard to, to be at peace when we're in a, a situation that lacks peace. But when we're in a situation where we feel that our peace is being disrupted or where peace is lacking, that is the time to just kind of take a step back, take a deep breath, slow down a little bit and pray. And this is so very important. And one of the reasons why this is so very important is because sometimes when there is a lack of peace in a certain situation, it is because God doesn't want to, us to go that route. And he's trying to show us that that's not the route that he wants us to go. So that is why it is so important that we always go to him in prayer and let him know, you know, we're in a situation we're not feeling peace in this situation. You know, um, we don't know what to do. Um, are you trying to send me a message? Um, always go to God about it because again, emphasis being that sometimes when we're in a situation that is not peaceful, it's because we have taken a route that God does not want us to take. He wants us to go in another direction, knowing that that other direction is one that's going to be a more peaceful one for us and isn't it wonderful that we have a god that can guide us like this um people who are not christian don't have that they don't have that guidance to to know which course to take which course is going to be the peaceful one and usually when we continue on a course that is not pe peaceful it's because we haven't quite listened when God has spoken to us and we're notorious for that as humans where we tend not to listen because we think we know what to do. We need to acknowledge that perhaps we don't know what to do and this is the time to go to God and ask him to help us to see what the the direction that he wants to be in, us to go on. Um, what is the direction that is going to maintain the peace in our life? Give us wisdom, give us discernment over the situation that we're in. Guide us, direct us, help us get our feet on the right path. Because if there's anyone who can bring peace to your life, it is him. Thank you so much for being with me today for our daily devotional. I appreciate you being here. Please give this video a thumbs up. That tells YouTube that you like the content that we're putting out. And also, um, leave a positive comment to upbuild and encourage your fellow Christians because we are not living in a peaceful world and we all need prayer. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I would like to encourage you to do that. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow for another devotional. Bye-bye.